life. That's our top story this Friday. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Keller. And I'm Margo Kim. First, let's get a check on that forecast with Doug Collins in our Storm Warren 30 Center. Happy Friday, Doug. Oh, ooh, I like the sound of that. Happy Friday, absolutely. A great forecast across Central California. And it's game day, Friday morning football at Sierra High School in Toll House. Here's the way the game comes together. It's the Chieftains versus the Monarchs, and Christine Park will be at Sierra High in just a little bit here. As far as our forecast goes, 74, the expected high of kickoff for the uh, Friday football forecast for tonight. Our Valley forecast comes together this way. A lot of sunshine, Tim, uh, similar to where in the world. And still to come, NASA hits its target, the deliberate crash on the moon this morning to kick up a debris cloud of details about the lunar surface as Action News AM Live in HD continues at 6 o'clock. And I'm Christine Park live at Sierra High where the chief fans are ready for Friday's morning football. A good Friday morning, starting off with some cool weather. Let's check on that forecast with Doug Collins. Good morning, Doug. Cool, comfortable, quiet weather pattern through the weekend, then some major changes. But we're focused on the short term. Where today, of course, it's Friday morning football up in Tull House, Sierra High School. That's where we're going to be this morning. Oh, the guy's running around without a shirt. It's got to be a little cold this morning up there along the foothills. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Christy must be thrilled it could be. We'll check in with Christy in a couple of minutes, and here is the way your Friday morning football forecast comes together. And it's the matchup between the Chieftains and the Monarchs, and the game kicks off at 7 o'clock, 74 degrees there. Now, as far as our forecast goes, yes. future, the crystal oh, ball. I second that emotion. Action news time is 6.07. The Chieftains of Sierra High are looking for a victory and are fired up for Friday morning football. Here's a live look at Sierra High School in Toll House where the cheerleaders are getting the crowd excited for tonight's game. We'll break down what's expected ahead. Buckle up, now let's go back to the studio. Sierra High is hoping to bounce back from their only loss of the season at tonight's homecoming game against Exeter. But first, the Chieftains are celebrating on Friday morning football. What a turnout out there this morning. Action News reporter Christine Park joins us live from Sierra High with all that school spirit. Good morning, Christine. Good morning, Margo and Matt. Yeah, you know, I got a call last year from a Sierra High parent, and she said, why don't you come to Sierra High? They invited us, and look out the turnout we got. Good morning, Mick. Good morning. Okay, how'd you guys pick this theme? Because some of you weren't even born when some of these characters were popular. <laughs> That's true. You know, it's just like, you know, we thought about taking a step back in time and getting back to filling our childhood again. Awesome. So what's homecoming like for Sierra High? Um, homecoming, you know, just all about having fun, you know, dressing up as your, you know, favorite Mario characters and uh, just hanging out with the alumni. Awesome. Okay, speaking of alumni, the community turnout is great. And we've got the superintendent here, Dr. Michael Gardner, as well as Principal Kathy Ireland. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, so how, what does homecoming mean for this entire community? Because I've never seen a turnout like this before. Well, the, the community is based around the high school. So anything that happens at the high school, the community falls out for it. A great community. We're probably the, the best kept secret in Fresno County. I would say. And Kathy, uh, are you guys, are you proud of your, your people? Oh, I'm very proud of our people, but this doesn't surprise me. Our kids are great. Our community is fabulous. They support us 100%. So. Okay, let's, let's get another shot of the crowd here. What's up, Sierra? Marco, 
for Matt. Homecoming game is tonight against Exeter. And um, if Exeter can bring this kind of school spirit, I don't know. We'll see. They'll have to really bring it to match this kind of chieftain pride. Sending it back to you. Wow. Christine, if you can hear us, it does take a village to raise a child, and the community came out strong to support Sierra. And I'm a little depressed that Mick thinks that Super Mario Brothers is old. Can you tell them to stop hey, making Mick. us feel old? <laughs> you know what? We're double their age, so you need to deal with it. And by the way, you talked about community support. I smell bacon. They're cooking breakfast out there for this entire crowd. The boosters are. Way to go. Way to show yeah. their spirit. All right, Sierra, good going. We'll check back with you later, Christine. Action News Time is now 617. We can wrap up the series Saturday in St. Louis. It's time for our Friday football game of the week. This week, it's Sierra High School versus Exeter. And we have a sumo wrestling contest, it appears, or a tutu wrestling contest. <laughs> I can't tell what that costume is, but they've got helmets on, which seems very, very violent. There they go. <laughs> football players doing their best at 626 in the morning. The Sierra High Chieftains are 3-1 and one this season. You can tell by just the passion they have of uh, football. Last week, their only loss of the season came to Dos Palace. The defense has been stingy at times, holding two teams to 12 and 9 points. Our own Christine Park is at Sierra High in Tollhouse and will join us live for Friday morning football in our 6 o'clock hour. We're going to talk to the coach. The coach has a yes, great story. He does. Yeah. Kickoff is tonight at 7 o'clock. Also, Fresno State plays tomorrow night at 8 yes, o'clock against game. Hawaii. Big game. This morning, blasting the moon, what NASA is hoping to find by crashing a spacecraft into the lunar surface. Now it's good. And I'm Christine Park. We're live at Sierra High where the Chieftains are ready for Friday morning football. Number one in Central California and first in high definition. Anyways, now if you're headed to the big Fresno Fair this morning, there are sections of Chance and Butler that will be shut down. Follow those detour signs and have fun out there. And that's the latest map. More coming up with CHP in just about 10 minutes. Sierra High is looking for its fourth win in tonight's homecoming game against Exeter. But first, the Chieftains are on Friday morning football, moving to the beat of a different drum. Action News reporter Christine Park joins us live in the middle of all the action at Sierra High. Christine? Good morning, Margo Matt. The turnout here is unbelievable. I cannot believe the spirit here at Sierra High. We have the entire community out here, even the alumni. We have Jake Marshall. This is his 55th reunion. My goodness. We also have the Native of American Club. They are going to play the uh, Bigfoot song, and they are representatives from Mono Wind, Big Sandy, Chuck Chansey. So take it away, guys. They are the Chieftains. Thank you so much. Well, we are here to talk football. We are here with Coach Rob Hasty. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Thanks okay, sure, sure. Now, you have an interesting story. You used to be an attorney in Orange County. You quit that all, moved up here, and then this is your first and maybe only your yep. coaching. Tell us about it. Yep, well, I was a attorney in Orange County, and uh, hey, honey, I've got an idea. Let's sell everything and move up to a place called Auburn where we don't know anybody. Oh, okay. So we actually did it and went back to school, got my teaching credential, and started coaching youth football. These same guys when they were in fourth grade, and if you stay around long enough, you rise to the top. And so here I am for my one year out in a blaze of glory. Awesome, awesome. Okay, you guys have a pretty good record, three yep. and one, possibly your fourth win tonight. Is this your son? Yes. Is this Tim? Yes. Good morning, Tim. 
Hey. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to in tonight's game? Uh, just playing hard, knocking some heads, and having fun. All right, you have any strategies going against Exeter? Uh, don't give up on any play, and knock some heads and hit hard. <laughs> I think he wants to knock some heads and hit hard. What's up, guys? Okay, hey, I do have to mention, these guys are wearing pink armbands in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So these tough guys, we got some pinks up, pink up here. And this is just a great school. We smell breakfast. The alumni are cooking breakfast outside. I just want to show you another shot of the crowd. We've never had this kind of enthusiasm and turnout before. Look at Sarah High School. Matt and Margo, if you can hear me, the game is tonight against Exeter. Kickoff is at 7. And I'm telling you, Exeter better bring it because this school is going It's incredible, the spirit and the turnout there. Christine, it's a wonder that you can even still hear anything out there. It is so loud. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've got semi-naked boys. We've got <laughs> unicycle riders. We've got drummers. Native American drummers. Uh, I don't know what else to show you. We even had Super Mario, the video game character. So this is what Friday morning football is all about. Back yeah. to you. And breakfast to top it all off. All right, Christine, great <laughs> showing out there. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, Sierra High gets an A. Yes, they do. Action News Time is now 646. Coming up, President Obama that puts him in an elite club of Nobel Prize winners. And let's go back out live to Sierra High School where the Chieftain's school spirit is spilling over for Friday morning football. <laughs> Action News Live Stock Market Update is sponsored by Weber BMW. Bye, Daddy. Wow, nice new beer.